Hello there audience, welcome back to another exciting episode of me working on my car. It is the same day, it's later on though. Um, it's Friday, I think today specifically I'm gonna call Fire Hazard Friday. Just because nothing says fire hazard like my car. The previous owner of this car did some wiring work did a lot of wiring work actually and it is scary like scary scary like these wires right here I will jiggle them and that light will flicker <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it and these oh goodness these these are terrifying they are on both sides these actually run out through here which is our light switch for our headlights and they go to the speakers in the door. So we're gonna go ahead and do some refurbishing on this. So I'm not on the side of the road, a smoldering, burning corpse. Wow, that is, that is just terrible. That light down there is flickering too. I don't even know what that is. That right there looks, that might actually be a part of the same wiring. Ignore the spray paint. Pay no attention to the spray paint. This, this right here is scary though, especially cause down here, if y'all can see it, is the fuse box. Let's block that out. There we go. Oh man, y'all can see that just fine now. That's our fuse box. And whenever you shake it around, our light right there decides not to work proper. I don't know really what this is. Now the AC in this car works. It works fantastically. That's a lot of rust right there. The only issue with the AC is there's a relay somewhere right here that isn't functioning. I don't know if it's a relay or not, but I know it's hooked up to the same thing the headlights are hooked up to. All right, I was unable to find that relay, but the AC does blow pretty cold. Unfortunately, the only thing I'm worried about is whenever the relay or, or Whatever it is that's shorting out, whenever whatever it is that's shorting out shuts off the AC, the air compressor like kind of grinds against itself. And that would destroy the air compressor immediately. That's why I don't use the AC in this thing. That and, I mean it blows okay, but it doesn't blow all that hard. I'd like to get that fixed. I'd like to get the entire AC system in this thing up and going again. Just because it does have some nice AC. Like, if it was going as well as it should be, I feel like this would be an awesome, awesome car. It's got a 5.0 in it. It's a Mercury. Uh, Rear-wheel drive, but it's also got a positive traction rear end. I'd like to throw a turbo in it. I'd like to get all this wiring mess taken care of. She needs clean. She has all sorts of dirt and dust and debris and all kinds of everything. But right now we're gonna focus on not getting it burned down. So we're gonna fix these right here. This right here was actually from a radio test, I believe. That's where this right here comes in. I have the piece that actually goes here and the piece that goes there and the piece that goes here. So we're going to put it all together. That'll probably be another day though. For today, I'm just gonna focus on wiring, cause this wiring is bad. It's like scary bad. Let's get started. All right, I got wire strippers, and I got crimpers, and I got wire connectors, professional wire connectors. These are what you're supposed to use. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can just set the camera down somewhere and not have it topple over. And we're gonna see just what the fuck's going on here. We're gonna try and unravel this wire. There we go. Look at that. Wow, that is that is terrifying. Terrifyingly terrifying. Okay, let's get this up and going. There we go. Now let's cut this. Alright audience. Are y'all bloods? Or are all y'all crimps? 
Oh, that was a terrible joke. It was a terrible joke and it was in bad taste as well. I'm sorry, audience. Well, moderately sorry, I guess. I'm as sorry as I could be without feeling any real sorrow. But that's just how life is, I guess. This one might be annoying. There we go. Give myself plenty of room here. Okay. All right. Snip the wire. Snip the wire like it's foreskin. <laughs> Bloods and crimps. <laughs> you can't tell me that wasn't funny. All right. You can tell me that wasn't funny. I'll understand. center mass mix. Spin the wires round and round. Electrocute yourself <laughs> once you touch that ground. Don't touch the ground wire, audience. If you're ever working with electrical stuff, never touch the ground wire. You have to complete a circuit to get electrocuted. So as long as you don't touch that ground wire, you're impervious to electricity. Unless you get electrocuted. <laughs> Never take my advice. Never take my advice, audience. Because, I mean, that could be the other way around for all I know. Come on, you. Check that out. Bam. Snip. And shave. You gotta snip and shave, audience. Snip and shave. That is the key to electrical work. Snip and shave. We all know it. None of us want to admit it, though. None of us. The key to electrical work, snip and shave. I ought to write that in a textbook and sell it to technical classes and have them all be like, wow, this guy's a genius. He knew the secret, and he's not even an electrician. I'm not an electrician at all. Like, my mechanical skills are not that great, but my electric skills are just... Awful. Absolutely terrible. But I don't have to know things to do things right. Who says I need a fancy little degree to get anything done? Just by watching and doing and trial and error. Lots of electrocution. Oh god, tons of electrocution. You can figure out how to do everything without the need of some sort of fancy degree. There we go. Now those are there. Now what are these for? These seem to run up over here and have something to do with that light maybe. Now let's just put these. We're going to professionally stuff these up into the dash, so no one can see them. There we go. Look at that. We are one step closer to not burning down my car. Oh, good gravy. That's gonna be a headache all on its own. I wonder if I even have power to those. Cause I know these don't work, that doesn't work. These right here don't work. The only thing that works is my windows right there which could also use some connecting wires. Oh well, we'll see what happens with that. I have a lot to do on this car. A lot of a lot. And that includes preventing it from being lit on fire. Well, my windows work, so I guess I don't have to connect them right now. I think I'm going home, audience. Thank you very much for joining me on another fantastic day that is my life.
my car needs a paint job and a headliner. I'm gonna make a list of everything my car needs. It needs wiring work under the dash, wiring work in the console. It needs headliner, door panels. I want to fiberglass the dash so I don't have just a bunch of broken up bits of dash up there. Because this is, this is original dash. This, this is a antique car. Let's see, what else do we have? I have a slight engine sputter. It's not, it's not as intense as it was since I switched out the uh, map sensor. I think that's what those are called. I want to get a paint job. I want to get the AC up and going properly. That, that would be nice. Like, just the AC, because I'm in Florida. The AC going would be just fantastic, especially because it's a black car. But for today, we took care of the extremely hazardous wires. <laughs> like, the extremely dangerous ones. The ones that, you know, spit out smoke whenever you run the car for too long. So, I think I'm out of here. Like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone you think might find it inter in entertaining to see a man, you know, refurbish a 1986 Mercury Cougar. It'll be fun. I'm having fun. I love this car. I love this car with a passion. This is my baby right here. This is my first car, by the way. Um, well, I mean, it's, it's, I've had other cars, but... This is the first one that I've had. Like, I have a, a Saturn sitting out there, and, you know, used to have a Jeep and whatnot, but this right here was number one. This, is, this came along first. I have no idea what I'm going to do whenever these light bulbs finally burn out. I have no idea how to get this off. I don't see any screws. Maybe this pops off. Maybe the plastic pops off, and there's screws in there that hold it down. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Audience, you have yourselves a fantastic day. Go out and do something. Go out and build something. Go out and be something. Go out, you know, find yourself an old card and restore it. Go out and make yourself some money. Stop just sitting there. Don't sit there. Be something. You can be so fantastic if you put your mind to it. Anything you want to do, pick something. Just pick one thing and then go out of your way to ensure that it gets done. If you stay on it, you will get it done. It is absolutely fantastic what you can achieve in this world. Especially whenever you believe in yourself. That's something that I lack in. But, I'm coming along. I'm, I'm definitely moving forward on that aspect. Thanks for joining me, audience.